All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or wherever your stays may be. Thanks again for joining and welcome to today's webinar. Um, what we'll try to do is just give you a high level overview um, of the InMapper um, solution. Um, hopefully I'll be able to provide you with some insight within our 15 minute timeline. All right, so let's jump right in. My name is Kevin Jackson. I am the technical solutions consultant uh, from Help Systems by way of the InMapper solution. So today, again, uh, I'll try to provide you with some information about InMapper uh, and kind of what it is, what we do, and how we do things. And if we do have some time, um, we'll take a quick uh, look at the product live. So what is the InMapper solution? Uh, so we're a multi-platform solution that can provide you with real-time network monitoring, um, supporting uh, by our uh, ability to map out your, your infrastructure. That's our, kind of our front end um, into uh, the way your infrastructure is laid out. And this gives you the visibility into your network operations. So some of the key features of our product are as follows. Um, one of the strengths of our product is our ability to monitor pretty much anything with an IP address. Um, we can go out there and we can do our, your, that auto discovery. Um, we can um, scan on a, a specific IP range. We can scan on a specific subnet. We can scan and, and import uh, manual uh, IPs or we can import a list of IPs uh, from a list uh, or a tab delimited or CS3 format list. And then what we do is we're able to take this information and create a live map of these network devices. And then from there, you can uh, kind of identify how you want the, these devices to be laid out. Um, we provide you with a logical layer three view uh, on our initial discovery. So all your devices are going to be uh, associated with their, uh, their respective subnet or networks. And then from there, uh, we have built-in functions and features, formatting uh, features that you can use to kind of outlay your map and, and kind of provide yourself with the visibility of the visual that you're looking for. Uh, we do also have uh, a built-in layer two function. So if you do have layer two network um, on the back end, uh, you can convert your logical layer three diagram to a layer two um, rendering. So this allows you to see uh, more uh, uh, kind of a, a realistic depiction of how your back-end infrastructure, your switching infrastructure is laid out. We also have the ability to detect new devices. So we can do uh, an automated scan uh, on, on a network or a subnet um, that you're currently interested in seeing if there's new devices associated or attaching to that particular network. So you can run this scan on 30-minute increments anytime during the day, seven days a week, and what we will do is we will uh, identify those IPs that we see within the scan that are not on any of your active monitoring uh, maps. So what we do is we, we gather this information, um, we put it on its own kind of repository, so it's a specific map called a detection map, and then we add the, the devices to that map, and then from there you can determine what you want to do, what your next steps will be once you have that information at a glance. Uh, we can also use our flows component to identify um, devices that are hitting um, your exporters as well. Uh, maybe you want to see um, what external IPs are hitting your, your, uh, your routers or your firewalls. Um, if there's, those IPs are not being monitored, um, we capture that information and present that back to you as well. And then our, busy, uh, our ability, excuse me, to monitor from anywhere. Uh, we have a remote access um, software uh, that you can utilize to essentially manage the InMapper main console. So if you want to um, remotely manage and monitor um, your infrastructure from, uh, you know, from your, your desk, or maybe you have another office that you want to be able to manage a solution in a core uh, data center, you can use our remote access client to do so as well. And Primarily what our focus is, is, is trying to make it easy for you to manage um, your network health. Uh, the most important thing from an IT professional standpoint is the ability to understand what they have out access to, um, understand what your, your environment and your network is looking like, and being able to monitor your network is first and foremost, because then from there, um, you can essentially add uh, you know, your security measures, your policies, and, and things to kind of bolster and protect your network. 
So there's five reasons that we have that, that uh, you should choose our product or five reasons that we feel um, uh, will help you select our product. The first uh, reason is our intuitive uh, visual mapping. Um, one of the things, again, we're known for in the space is our ability to map out your network real time. And please understand that um, we're not just a mapping um, tool. Um, we also are able to provide you with performance monitoring uh, functionality as well. So on top of being able to, to kind of outlay your, your infrastructure and, and provide you with that visibility, we're providing you with performance metrics that you're, that's important to you. We're, we're providing you with the ability to set thresholds on, on these performance parameters that are going to uh, at least give you an, uh, an idea of how these devices are behaving. So being able to create those live diagrams of your IT infrastructure and disseminate that information to others, uh, be able to, to give your, your these maps or or access to the, the, these maps to folks who are not necessarily IT um, savvy, um, but you can also provide this to a, a level one or even someone um, in the, the business sector uh, within your organization. We talked about the ability to uh, kind of convert that initial, initial uh, logical layer three diagram um, into a layer two topology map, so that helps as well. And then you have the ability to customize um, your maps with, um, you know, uh, icons, built-in icons. You can import your own icons, background images, floor plans, etc. Uh, flexibility in terms of monitoring any, uh, anything. Again, our ability to identify devices by their IPs. Uh, you know, we're vendor agnostic, so it doesn't matter what uh, what vendor, uh, what model. Um, we uh, will be able to at least monitor that device for availability or, or up-down uh, functionality. Uh, we use SNMP and ICMP, HTTP, TCP, all the different protocols uh, that are important in terms of uh, gathering um, that uh, really good performance information. We're, we're able to utilize that information to monitor these, these devices. Um, whether uh, your, your infrastructure is on-prem or if it's sitting um, off-site or, or even cloud-based um, solutions that have resources tied to them, we're able to monitor those uh, environments as well. We use what we call probes. Um, uh, most of you might think or, or, or have heard um, sensors, probes are pretty much the same thing. So we use probes as a way to, to interrogate devices in, and monitor these devices, and that gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of what we can monitor and how we can monitor these different functions. So we use uh, the, the MIBs and the OID values associated with these, um, these particular vendors' um, uh, equipment um, that they um, pr uh, provide. Um, some proprietary, some standard, um, and then our probes are able to call to action uh, this information um, against uh, thresholds and alarms that you set within the probe. And then alert and notification. So uh, m a mapping, first and foremost, uh, ability to get capture that performance monitoring information, second, and then our ability to alert and notify um, using exception-based alerting um, uh, uh, kind of measures. Um, so what you want to do is, you know, visualization is great, but you also want to be delivered some type of notification when something happens. So now you can use that as a way to call to action. So you can customize your alerts and how you want your alerts delivered, whether it's sounds or email. Um, you can set up your intervals in terms of who, or you can set up your recipients, uh, who and when you want those alerts to be sent. And then if there's, uh, you know, specific uh, behaviors, um, that uh, that are uh, kind of a function of some of your your environments. You can add and do delays based on those outages as well. Network automation. So network monitoring is is only half of of, of the solution. Obviously, you you want to look at the other half, which is um, possibly workflow and and possibly uh, mitigation uh, function as well. Um, Intermapper can do the mapping and the monitoring um, within the help systems family. We do have uh, a network automation tool that can do some actionable tasks. Now, within Intermapper itself, there's there's a few uh, uh, kind of um, actions that can be used. Um, you can use a command line, which command line you can use to execute a, a, a script or some type of command. You can use PowerShell to execute PowerShell scripts or commands as well. So we do have uh, some, um, some basic functionality that can be used to 
to essentially uh, do some um, some remediation, but primarily our interface with uh, a second product within the help systems family called Automate can allow you for that kind of a self-healing scenario. So. If you're looking to do things like restoring failed devices or, fail, or restarting uh, failed devices or services, uh, this is something that either Inamapper can do with a command line uh, probe or command line function, or we can utilize our automate interface or automate product um, to do so as well. Um, automate. Um, in its own right, has uh, over uh, 600 built-in actions that can be used to either monitor or um, do some network automation tasks within your organization. And it's not just um, within your IT department, but other departments that might um, be doing manual um, processes, you can utilize the Automate solution um, to do so as well. So some of those, those uh, interface um, things between um, Inamapper and, and Automate, uh, again, listed below here, um, failed devices, moving uh, um, moving data around. Uh, maybe you want to kind of uh, free up some resources on your Inamapper server so you can uh, move uh, log files or move uh, data files off of, off of the server to a different location. Um, you might want to back up the Inamapper settings folder that stores all our most important information. You can perform safer backups, being able to automate that process. Uh, you know, using Automate to uh, to maybe log into uh, a network device and pull configuration um, and save it somewhere, or just using Automate to 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 monitor a website or monitor web services as well. So there's uh, uh, some uh, kind of um, collaboration between the two two product and some synergy between the two products. Some things might overlap, but we do work well together in that regards. And then last but not least, uh, the ease of use is one of the, the things that uh, we often get from our, our customers is the ability to, again, create uh, your maps, uh, lay your maps out, uh, deploy uh, the software. There's, everything is kind of built in. We don't have a lot of external components. Uh, we try to have the, the, the software tightly packaged um, with everything we need. Uh, you can drag and drop devices. You can, uh, you know, you can move things around. You can assign probes and alerts very easily. So uh, the the usage and and the uh, the time spent to kind of get up to speed is not as uh, um, great as if you're using those larger um, enterprise level um, solutions. And also. Um, Learning the new product or disseminating information to a colleague is is a lot easier as well. So ease of use is one of the things that we pride ourselves on, and and hopefully we'll continue to do so. So how do I get started? Um, we have a free uh, download on our website. Um, we have a 30-day trial that you can take advantage of, and we also have um, we have call it a 10 for free um, software as well. Um, we also have the uh, the download for the Automate solution on our site as well. So if you want to see how the Inamapper solution and Automate work together, um, you can download both products uh, and take a look um, as well. And again, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, uh, feel free to, to let us know. We do have a, uh, a live feature tour um, every Thursday at 10 o'clock, so you can take advantage of that. Um, and that will give you a little bit more in-depth uh, in terms of uh, some uh, features and functions of the product and, and how, how and why we do things. So again, if you have any, any questions, please um, let us know. So we have a few minutes left. So what I'll do really quickly is to show you a few functions of the product. Um, so first and foremost, uh, this is my layer three map here of some test uh, devices um, within my network. So this is my map. Um, as you can see, I have a number of different types of devices on my map. We're able to monitor uh, pretty much anything. You can see we also have some animation on, on our maps so you can see the flow of traffic. Uh, we have real-time charts that you can use to see um, specific data sets that we're currently capturing and monitoring. So you can see the trends there um, as well. Um, you can uh, manipulate and, and create uh, however view you want to. Um, uh, we have the ability to drill down into other sites. We call these submaps. So if I need to go into my New Hampshire office, I can double click on my New Hampshire icon and that brings up uh, the map of all the devices that's that's uh, currently being monitored in uh, New Hampshire so I can see that information and we'll always show you the most severe and critical events that's local to that site as well. 
Um, I talked about we have a flows component. So um, InMapper flows is an add-on to our main product. So if you are, are interested in uh, kind of identifying and, and, and seeing the bandwidth utilization and traffic um, within your organization, maybe at some of those strategic locations, your gateways or your routers, um, you can configure that to export to a flows uh, collector. And we'll capture that information and then present it back to you in a graphical format. So you can see your top talkers, you can see your top listeners, uh, you can see your top application ports, how much data, how much bandwidth is being utilized. Um, you can see your top sessions here. So you can see, again, what client is connected to what server or what uh, site, uh, what service they're using, what protocol, how much data, how much bandwidth is being utilized as well. And then we also have a few kind of built-in components within the product. Um, we have a web uh, feature um, that you can use to create read-only access to uh, some of these, the maps that you create within the product. Um, so this is not necessarily um, a, a management tool or a way to manage the software, but this is a, a tool that you can utilize to at least continue to monitor uh, some of that infrastructure and you can drill into the devices. You can still see all the information that you would normally see um, within the client or from the console. You'll still have access to that data within the web interface um, as well. And then we have um, our built-in reports uh, function so you can create some basic custom reports based on the data and the data sets that, that you are currently uh, capturing and, and, and monitoring. So if you want to create uh, you know, a, a report based on the device uptime of a specific device over the course of a specific amount of time, uh, you can create that report. Um, it is a web-based report, so it, it's you can provide it in terms of a, a, a web link, or um, you can also export that data to a CSV format uh, and create your own uh, reports or create your own uh, data structure as well. Um, so that in a nutshell um, is um, in a mapper. Um, so hopefully I was able to kind of give you a little bit of, of feedback and, uh, and some information about the product. Once again, please take advantage of our free trial, 30 day trial. And also if you um, would like the uh, 10 for free is also provided and available to you as well. Um, so let us know once you get it downloaded and installed, let us know your thoughts. Uh, more than happy to uh, to assist in any way. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.